Okay, it's Kev here, time for another video letter correction. As usual, disclaimer, fair use, teaching, so don't complain of your material. I don't get any money out of this, so that's that first. Uh, official criteria, again, teaching purposes. I'm only looking at people's writing, that's it. So, we've got the criteria, we've got the notes, and we've got the letter. Right. Now, let's have a look at the word count. I believe, I had a quick look the other day, yeah, too short, 159, way too short. Now, they say that 180 to 200, so 200-ish, more or less, a few more words over is fine. But they set the bottom limit because they say, that's what OET say on the blog, that if it's less than 180, it's not enough to accurately assess you because you've not produced enough language for assessment, right? So just keep that in mind. So this is a little bit short. So this is the one about um, Amina. Uh, I think this is the... Emergency one, let's have a look. Urgent admission, right, right, so that needs to be there. Urgent admission, emergency pediatric unit, etc. Okay, doke. Okay, okay, so let's have a peep and see what we've got here. Then. So, um, nothing here about urgent emergency, I would put it there. Anything here about urgent emergency because you're supposed to restate the topic, sorry. Uh, Restate the purpose at the bottom. So it says, let's get my pencil out. This video is a little bit quick because I'm pretty busy this week, but quick, precise sense. Okay. Purpose introduced early, clearly expanded on later, often near the end of the document. Right. So where's the urgency? So you could do. Um, the refer now you don't have to do that you've told us her her age age eight or age eight years age eight eight years old so you don't need that you can just put up the name because we can see that she's eight and that's obviously a child suggestive of meningococcal meningitis so guess just treatment who they are immigrants. Who is they to whom you refer? Are great in English? Is that clinical language? Is that, you know, is that uh, the clinical language register tone? Really? It's not as such, is it? Or is it? They are great. Mm, so, I want to avoid that. And I wouldn't put that there in any case. Because without saying why, it's not going to be, um, you know, too useful. Why is that in your purpose? Now, what I would do, so I would probably put that at the bottom. Um, in view of the above, please, could you urgently admit Amina? Oh, sorry, you did put that urgent there. Can you do this, 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 this? this? Um, I would have put it at the bottom, like, please note that there may be some linguistic issues with the parents, blah, 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 you know? So I would have maybe put it there, right? Put it at the bottom, because we don't really need it there, all right? Uh, present it to my clinic, or where else would she present? And she presented, well, she was kind of brought. I don't think she presented herself, but we can let that stand. Usually, you know, if it's a kid, they're brought by the the parents usually, uh, it's, you know, uh, it's a mother who brings the kid, but still. Presented high fever, so she was the nose, mild cough, lots of appetite. That resulted in abscess from his school, mm, well, from her school. Resulted in absence from school. Okay, well, um, 
management now. What was the advice though? What did, so right, usually for a visit paragraph you've got uh, what the patient presented with or said, what you found and what you did. You know, so pay parents re supported, you found and you did, you took action. All right, so that's what we need for your paragraph there. Now, despite my management, now I wouldn't have put that there because they keep saying to us on the blog, use of passive to put the patient and the treatment first. Yeah, so instead of I advised blah 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 was advised or she was or he was advised to you know so that's to take you out of it take the the personal part out so i'll probably change that but i think let's have a look from the from the notes so the management um so you re recommended that she do stay home paracetamol and come back in three days so that's basically what you did now this is only 100 you only wrote was it 150 something words so you could have included that you know that's not really irrelevant is it you know so um because if i were reading this uh so right what you've got to do because i keep saying in every uh, every single video you've got to put yourself in the shoes of the reader okay imagine that the reader me you us doesn't have these case notes because in uh reality we we wouldn't have them right we just have this letter this is all that i we the reader would actually have i wouldn't have anything else okay so everything's got to be clear in this if there's any questions, if I've got to ask mm, management, well, what did you do? What was, you know, what did you actually do here? And I have no idea because you didn't say, you know, oops. Oh, yeah. And uh, here's another tip. Um, I'd like you to spell out the numbers. Don't write it like a number. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so despite my management, well, management kind of plan, you didn't really do anything. You just, you probably told her parents to take her home, keep her off school, give a paracetamol uh, and let her rest. So I would have included that because I say this is pretty short. I mean, look at it, we've got three paragraphs. Uh, so you could have included that. The symptoms became deteriorate. The symptoms deteriorated or her condition deteriorated over the pre over the, the last two days or the previous two. So, so she came. So what is the date? The 14th. You're writing this on the 14th. Okay. Okay. So she came five days ago. Um, so she was off school you said okay go keep her off school take some paracetamol come back in three days time all right symptoms deteriorated over the last two days so deteriorated present perfect because we know when it deteriorated over the last two days there was still high fever was next to us therefore the fcc and usi were requested okay and what happened there? Mm. Mm, so, kept off school, okay. Uh, cough, continuous headache. Ordered. What were the results? So. FPC 1800 and left a shift. Did you include that? FB 100? Uh, I can't see it. Oh, all well, right. So requested that, but I can't see. You've got the temperature. But here it says, what was it? Mm, I think it's BC 18,000. So it's a little bit low, 18,000. And left shift. So, so it seems we've got three kind of visits then. Sport, 
let's have a look. So we've got visit one. Okay, might as well be continued. That's two. Right, so this is why I'm getting confused here. So um, she returned. Right, so it's again. I'm having to look at the case kind of notes because this letter is not really clear to me what is going on. So we've got three separate visits. Right, I can see it now. So. So she came in and blah, 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 blah. So what did you do? What did you tell her? So for which rest and paracetamol were advised or something, right? So you could put something like, right. Okay. So that would be clear then, right? It was, was it two days later? Let me just check. So, ninth, no, sorry, right. Three days, three days later. Okay, doke. So, right. Three days later, uh, Amina returned. Now, was it with a mother? And I think her mother was anxious, as you might expect. Uh, so let's ninth subjective test so she said right go home take some paracetamol etc then she came back again with a mother who wasn't happy cough control temperature anxiety okay okay so there's nothing about that there this is one reason why this letter is far too short. Is Amina returned with worsened symptoms and what does it say? Still high fever and uncontrollable fever or something. What's it say? Temp uh, difficult to control temperature, so she got a cough. So symptoms have changed. Yeah, right. Symptoms have changed. Let's have a look. Uh, so we've got cough, headache, can't control the temperature. Um, so, so we've worsened symptoms. Uh, increased cough because it was increased cough. What else did it say? Uh, lethargic so continuous headache I don't think it had that in the first one so it had the cough appetite loss but nothing about headache and lethargy so that's uh, so these are new new symptoms yeah uh, and the third one lethargic okay okay right so now we have so we've still got the cough we've got a headache now and a lethargy and the temperature is out of control Worse at symptoms and increased cough, uh, lethargy, and um, temperature con unresponsive temperature control or something such as that. I'm not going to write the whole thing out, but just to give you the idea. So something, right? Something such as that. Okay, so this is it's taking shape now. It is clearer. Now, the reader, of course, is not going to do this, right? They don't have the kind of notes. So you can see why I'm getting a bit confused here because it's there's no organization. There's no sort of clarity. You know, organization, appropriate, logical, but clear. First, this happened. She came three days later. This happened. She came back. This, this, this. It, it's just not there. Yeah. What is in there? Clear. It's structured. Right. I've I've got to find out what is going on. It's not, you know, it's not high lighted. I'm having trouble in finding out what is going on here. I'm having to refer back to the case notes, which I shouldn't have to do. If you, you know, if well, you, if anybody writes a letter 
I sh you know, there should be no questions in the reader's mind. It should be clear, I want you to do this. Why? Because this happened, this happened, and this happened. Because of this, I want you to do X, Y, Z. If there's anything that gets in the way of that, then it hasn't worked. So, she came on the 9th, high fever, and she was kept off school. Oh, okay, okay. Three days later, she came back, cough, lethargy, okay, blah, 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 blah. On to, um, you can maybe make something about her mother, anxiety, uh, parental anxiety or, or something. You could put it there, you, you know, you, you could mention it because it helps to fill in the story. And don't forget, this is still too short. Uh, it's a Chris Cough, lovely, responsive, temperature control. Her mother was uh, quite worried at this point or something. Today's consultation. Vomited for two times. You mean she vomited twice? Vomited twice. Last, last. So today's consultation. Uh, Patrick report that I mean, vomited twice last 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 uh, night. Uh, and was still lethargic and lithless. And was still lethargic. And listless and with worsened headache. Temperature, examination with a present next stiffness, or no, so was commenced on. Right, so urgent attention means condition, please contact. So, this is a little clearer now as to what is going on. So, dear doctor, patient's name, age. Urgently refer amina, meningococcal meningitis. You mentioned that maybe later on. So presented first, high fever, um, for which rest and paracetamol were advised. So that's what happened, visit um, one. Visit two, three days later, symptoms worse, but now lethargy and temperature out of control. Okay. Visit number three, today's consultation. She vomited twice, she's still lethargic, headaches worse, the temperature, the pulse, etc. So now, anything here about your diagnosis? So I would have put right, so your assessment is, okay? So what do you think? So you could have put then in view of the above, uh, my assessment is meningeal, I'm not going to spell it, cockle, blah, 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 meningitis. I don't even know if I've spelled that right, but anyway. Uh, and as such, I will appreciate you, you know. So your assessment is meningeal, cockle, meningitis. So you've got to say it again, okay. And as such, I would appreciate your urgent attention. So this is looking a little better now. It's taking uh, taking more shape and it's more logical. It's it's clearer now what is going on. So, right, who are you referring me to? Amina, age eight, right. Urgently refer, why? Because her features suggest this, okay. Why, what happened? Well, first, she came five days ago, nose, cough, paracetamol. She came back, things were worse. Ah, uh -huh. came back a third time, things had worsened. My assessment is based on this one, two, three, and as such, I want you to do this. Okay, now that's better now, I think. So keep this in mind, get that purpose immediately apparent the content. There's a bit of stuff there that's kind of missing. It's not filling the story in. It's not filling that story in. Right? If I've got to look at them, if I've got to look at the notes, it's not clear. It hasn't worked. Length, too short. Too short. Not appropriate to case or reader. Language, not too bad. One, two things I would change. Organization, again, to make it clear. Is it clear what is going on? Not as such. Language features, not too bad. So we can see this does need a fair, well, it doesn't now because I've made a couple of changes and uh, given you some advice, but 
this is what you've got to keep in mind you're telling a story you're telling me the reader a story you're constructing a narrative so you want me to do something why well because this happened then this happened and now this so taking all these things into account I think the situation is this and as such I want you to do this that's it nice and clear so hope that helps